All right, guys, so I want to review the lights on the Fluid Vista real quick because I don't see a lot of videos talking about it. And currently, uh, these lights that are flashing right now, I enabled through the King Song app. Without it, I probably wouldn't be able to because as it came stock, the lights weren't on. Only the lights in the front and the back were on and not on the side. And with the King Song app, I can control how the lights are displayed on the board, on the sideboard there. So full color mode is that, obviously, it's, that's what it's doing. Next one is full color flowing water. And there's a equal set of lights on the other side of the board. And then the next, we have Chrome. Oh, shoot. It turned off because I set it to two minutes if it's not active to turn off to conserve battery. So here's the monochromatic respiration. Is that how you say it? So there you go, guys. But, uh,. Let's go back up to the flowing water, give you a, there you go, flowing water, and then full color mode. I like this one a lot better, it feels more vibrant, the, f uh, the full color mode. So when you hit the brakes on the scooter, it lights up red, and let's turn off the headlights like that. So now... It's simulating daytime, and if I hit the brakes during the daytime, the lights... Oh, they still blink. Interesting. Maybe it's light sensitive. Let me turn on the lights. Let's see. Hmm. Normally it's solid, but anyways, uh, also with the app... Turn the lights back off here. Let's see if I can get this to unlock. You can lock and unlock the bike. So we'll give you a quick look at through the app here. Uh, so there you go, you can press the horn button. It's a little chime, turn on the headlights. On and off. There you go. You can turn it off. Adjust the settings. Vehicle password, time off adjustment, lighting control, we just went through that. The gears, and how fast each gear is or can go. You can set a lower speed limit than what the, uh, the app is set to do. Oh, device disconnected. But yeah guys, this awesome scooter from Fluid, Free Wide, Free Wide, Free Ride, is awesome and you can hold on here adjust the brake adjustment so yeah plenty of things you can do here guys highly recommend it and i went to the store today not too far and i'm down only 84 percent and the store is probably a little over a mile away to and from so yeah totally love the scooter it's great oh and let's do a little test um in another video, someone's rear tire was uh, kind of making noise or vibrating a little bit, and he didn't address it in the video, so let me just see if I can do something for you guys here real quick. Um, let's see if I can slit the sliding start to zero, and then... Now, if we lift up the back scooter, we can make it spin. How am I going to do this safely, though? Okay, guys, so I'm going to set the phone down. And I'm going to do this. How about that? Is that cool? Okay. And I'll lift up the back scooter. 
Oh, that's on walking mode. I want to do sport. There we go. Three, two, one. All right, so it didn't wobble. It didn't make any noise, so that's good. Try again. Check the brakes out. Three, two, one. All right, that probably wasn't good for it, but all right, whatever. We're testing it out. That was the uh, front brakes. And let's try the front brakes one more time. So the front brakes actually... <sighs> the front brakes, I was gonna say, activates <laughs> the electronic regenerative braking as well. But <sighs> boys and girls, that's why I put it on a walking speed of two miles per hour or two kilometers before it takes off. But I was just doing it for a test, and I fucked up again anyways, but... <sighs> Scooter is fine. Look at that. Nothing's harmed. We're all good. Sturdy Scooter. I highly recommend for anyone who needs to get to a short commute, whether it's a mile or five, this will get you there and back. I rode it in the rain. It's IP rated. And, uh... It did the job, but... I wouldn't be doing stunts out in the rain with this, of course. Um, take it easy, because uh, I didn't feel really confident riding in the rain. But if you take it easy, it'll get you around. But in the summer, when the, the roads are dry, great. Uh, the brakes, I'd say, in the back are a little bit mm, skittish. Sometimes they'll slide right from underneath you. So be careful with that. And uh, handling the rain, of course. But uh, yeah, it climbs hills nicely with confidence. It's really nice. You can feel the torque just pulling you right up the hill. So anyways, guys, I'd give this about a four out of five. Highly recommend uh, for a power commute to work and home. So, yep, let me know what you guys think. And if there's anything else you want to see, you want to see, um, I'll make a video. Alright, thanks. Bye.